The LS3A is almost complete and ready to fly. We've repaired the flap, stripped off the old paint, applied a bail cloth, sprayed, sanded, and polished a new coat of paint, a new hydraulic disc brake was installed. Finally, 3,000 hour major inspection is complete. Now it's time to install the instruments. The problem is that the instrument panel is small. Instruments back in the 1970s were not as large as you find today and they were fewer. I plan on installing an LXNAP system with a large display and vario, a second vario, airspeed indicator with flap ring, altimeter, transceiver, or radio, a transponder with ADSB out, flarm, and a large flarm display. There isn't enough space in the instrument panel for all. Let's take a look at each instrument and I'll show you how we did it. Air traffic displays from Air Avionics, in short called ATD, are cockpit displays of traffic information coming from the power flarm fusion. My fusion receives flarm, transponder, and ADSB traffic. ATDs are available in a rectangular, 57 mm and 80 mm sizes. For the LS3, I chose the 80 mm size because there was room for it to fit. The ATD displays several types of collision warning messages. Normal traffic warnings use an amber colored beam showing the vertical separation at hundreds of feet. The display range is automatically adjusted to reach the target's current distance. Head on traffic is displayed using a horizon style indication depicting the conflicting traffic in a heads on symbology. A new Winter Instruments 7 FMS 423 airspeed indicator with a range of 0 to 160 knots was added. Winter has many variations including the speed ranges, units of measurement, and instrument size. The instrument comes complete with custom markings specifically for the LS3A. I added an adjustable flap ring to the airspeed indicator. Once your takeoff weight is set at the top, the scale gives correct flap position throughout all speed ranges. It's a quick reference and reminder of the flat position you should be in. The LS3A has limited panel space for instruments, especially when installing a large LXNAV display. How do you fit more instruments than the instrument panel can hold? The solution is the Air Avionics ACD57. The ACD57 is a certified digital altimeter and comes with an EASA Form 1. The instrument has a multifunction display for controlling MODES transponders and aircraft radios. The ACD57 eliminates the need for extra transponder and radio instrument displays, freeing up those instrument holes for something else. It's a three-for-one instrument display. The ACD57 display controls the Air Avionics Aircom Next Generation Radio with 8.33 kHz channel spacing. It has new functions such as an audio equalizer and GPS-based frequency selection. The radio is compact and easy to install. It is the smallest and lightest fully certified radio in the market today. Additionally, the ACD57 display controls the Trig 22 transponder with the TN70 ADSB out GPS receiver. The Trig 22 is the world's smallest general aviation transponder, making it ideal to install on a glider. The complete system weighs less than 16 ounces. For my LS3A, I have the ACD57. Air Avionics Aircom Next Generation Radio, Trig 22 fully, ADSB out with TN72. The LX9000 system consists of a main display and vario. The LX9000 has a moving map that offers situational awareness of terrain, airports, and airspace. I opted for the touch screen, which helps planning a task, exploring airspace, or panning around while flying. Other options selected are Wi Fi and Hawk, which comes with AHRS and also a remote stick, almost necessary when changing settings and navigating pages while flying. The LX system has seven modes or main pages. Airport mode, which is used for navigation to and selection of airports. Waypoint mode is also used in navigation, but for selection and editing waypoints. Task mode, the third navigation page is used to select and edit tasking in racing badges and more. Statistics mode displays a convenient logbook when on the ground and statistical data when flying. You find GPS information on the information page. Near mode displays all landable waypoints and airports in a quick and selectable list. The Borgelt B700 is an excellent electronic variometer with a backup battery. It has an 18 second digital averager and integrator showing your average climb for the entire thermal. 
Blue LEDs shine when your 18 second average is better than the total climb average. The amber LED displays when your 18 second average drops below the total climb average. This is a great visual to know when your thermal is getting weaker. The white pointer indicates a two second total energy rate of climb. The scale is expanded from the zero to two knot range. It has a standard reading in the two to eight knots and is compressed at eight to 14 knots. In other words, the pointer movement is amplified in the low range which is useful in weak lift or in a best hill over D final glide, and the pointer still moves in the strongest lift.